Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at Maker Faire 2015, one of our favorite events of the year. And a lot of big companies are showing up at Maker Faire, like Google. Now, Bruno, you work at Google X, which is kind of like the, the Skunk Works lab of Google, right? You do a lot of secret projects. Yeah, we call it the Moonshot Factory. And, uh, but the project you're showing here isn't going for the moon, it's actually something well within the atmosphere. It looks like a, a UAV. What is Project Wing? Project Wing aims to build a UAV or drone that will do delivery of goods. Uh, and so what we're showing here on the stand is a prototype that we've used last year when we announced the project. Uh, we took this drone over to Australia to show how we could use a vehicle to fly up, go to a destination, in that case it was a, a farmer uh, out in the bush who requested us to send him a treat for his dog, mm. a dog food. And so what happened is we had the vehicle on the ground sitting like this, and this is a VTOL vehicle, meaning that it's vertical takeoff and landing. It takes off vertically, and in this case, it will tip over at altitude so that it can fly on its wing very fast to its destination. And what we did over there is that when it reaches the destination, it will go back into a hover mode like this, but flying. And we will have the payload tethered down to the ground with this little box that will be able to tell when the package has reached the ground. And at that point, it will release the package and tell the vehicle to winch it back up before it goes back home. Wow, so uh, this looks like something that you could design from scratch in Google X's labs. Uh, when I think of you know, quadcopters or UAVs for delivery, you know, companies that have thought, experimented with it at least, use traditional consumer quads, you know, uh, multi-rotors. But what informs the design of how you design this VTOL system? Because it doesn't look like a quadcopter, although there are four rotors, and it does take off vertically, it can hover also, right? So what the team tried to optimize for is for speed. Being able to deliver goods uh, in situations where they're needed urgently, uh, whether it's uh, medical supplies, for example, or if it's hot food, you want to make sure it gets to the destination, uh, destination before it gets cold. So this hybrid morphology is called a tail sitter because, as you can see, it's sitting on its tail. And uh, it's a hybrid of a quad because we have four um, electric motors that allow us to have stability in hover mode. But it also has a wing which allows it to fly relatively fast in horizontal mode to get to the destination pretty fast. How stable is this? Like, what type of conditions can it fly in? And what is range, for example? So range is improved because of the horizontal flight. Mm -hmm. uh, reaching good stability in both hover and horizontal uh, flight uh, is a bit trickier. That's right. That's right. Uh, so the team worked hard on making that happen. Uh, and if you look at uh, YouTube Project Wing, you'll see a video where you, you see the, the, the wing flying, and it was quite beautiful to see. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful design and functional. Um, this is an interesting payload. Now, what's the next step for Project Wing in terms of iteration? And, yeah. and how far do you see, how far away is this from something we would see in the skies? Yeah. So we had multiple iterations reaching to the point when we could uh, give a demo and announce the, the project. Since then, it was about a year ago, we've been continuing to do design and we're working on the next morphology or the next uh, vehicle design uh, that we'll talk about in the future. But no s details for that. Is it bigger, stronger, more stable? Not, not at this point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above, we'll say. Well, I look forward, thank you so much, Bruno. I look forward to seeing My this pleasure. in the sky. It's a really interesting concept and stuff that you guys at Google Labs, your moonshots, things we always love to see. It's wonderful to see you guys at Maker Faire. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. And we'll have more from Maker Faire on test.com. I'm Norm, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.